So in today's video, we're going to talk about Express LRS and especially those of you who have been in the Free Sky and Fly Sky protocol for your radios and you want to look to an upgrade. So this is the video to see. <laughs> And what is up people, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing great. Now, a couple of months ago, my Express LRS module, the Slim Pro, um, gave out on me. Things happen, it just decided to die. It's not about the quality, but it's just perhaps heavy usage on the module itself. So I'm using the Jumper T Pro and with the Express LRS Slim Pro piggyback on this radio. Of course, you can go ahead with the Express LRS version. There's also Express LRS radio out there like Radio Master Zorro, Radio Master TX16S and the likes of that. Generally, they all have the Express LRS built into the radio, but I'm, I'm using a 4-in-1 radio. So this one requires a piggyback Express LRS onto this. It's a personal preference because I still have some very old quads that are still on the free sky protocol and I still want to fly them though I rarely fly them these days but who knows so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna guide you through the step-by-step -step process of getting into Express LRS especially with the new bind and flies available out there in the market these days you find yourself more at ease using this as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the Jumper T Pro 4 in 1. Uh, there is the Jumper T Pro ELRS version as well. And that's a radio that some of my buddies are actually using. So, this is a slim module that died on me. So, I'm going to be replacing with the Slim Pro module. So, checking the slim module, I realized that there's nothing going on on the hardware. Everything checks out fine. So, all is good. It's just weird that it just died. So I'm just gonna replace that with the Slim Pro module. The Slim Pro has these connecting pins right here. So you need the adapter that will go to the back of the radio. And this is the adapter that is going to fit in and it's gonna be screwed down onto the back of the radio. And it's just basically a plug and play. So here I am fixing up the Slim Pro module onto the back of my radio. And there are some radios that actually comes with the pins built into the back of the radio so it's an easy fix. You just plug it in and you're good to go. But this one requires just a little bit of elbow grease fixing up the adapter so as to fit the Slim Pro module. Right, so the Slim Pro is now all fitted onto the radio and it's time to get it all set up. Do remember that the Express LRS is a transmitter. Make sure you have your antenna fixed onto the module so as not to burn out your transmitter. So what you're going to do is set up the radio and set up the model of your particular drone or tiny whoop or quad or whatever that you're flying and make sure that you have the internal rf turn off and external rf turn to crossfire and that's crsf and this is because the express lrs uses the same protocol as crossfire first we're going to download the express lrs configurator next we're going to choose the version that you're going to be using and this will be the latest one which is version 3.3.2 Basically, V3 works with V3 point something something. V2 works with V2 point something something. If you're going to be on V2 for your radio, it will not work with V3 on the quad and vice versa. Next, we're going to choose the device category and this is going to be the Happy Model 2.4 GHz. And the device is going to be the Happy Model Slim Pro. In my case, I'm using the Slim Pro. Next, we're going to download the Lua script. Place the Lua script inside your radio or on the SD card of your radio where it's easily accessible from your radio. This will come up as ELRS v3.lua. Then we're going to choose the flashing method and that will be Wi-Fi. Next, you're going to add a binding phrase and this will be a special password that you're going to have with your radio and your quad. Then we're going to scroll all the way down and click build, right? 
and once you have the bin file put that bin file somewhere accessible where you're going to use this bin file to update your radio or your receiver next turn on your radio and you're going to wait for about 30 seconds and it will go into wi-fi mode once you're in wi-fi mode log into the wi-fi and that's going to be express lrs tx so if there is a password request the password is express lrs connect onto this and another window will pop out and this will be the update that you require and you're going to use that bin file that we downloaded earlier and put it into choose file and then click update just be patient and wait a while sometimes it may take a little longer and once that is done you will have the upload successful notification popping out next go back to your radio and we're going to open up the lua script that we had put into the radio earlier and we are going to set the packet rate to 500 hertz as most of the happy model quads are 500 hertz of course these are all adjustable but i would stick to 500 hertz at this point of time if you're new into this hobby or in new into express lrs just leave it as 500 hertz the binding process of the bnf quads do check out the other videos in the description box down below or the top right hand corner of the screen next you're gonna plug in your quad or tiny whoop and then we're gonna go into better flight and you're gonna scroll down to the receiver tab and in the receiver tab you're gonna check on the movement of the sticks if in any case you see a model mismatch notification then just scroll down to model match and turn them either on or off and that will fix the issue. Now if you have any issues with the Express LRS or any problems that you face, please do give a comment down below and I'll help you as best as I can. So now my whoops all set up with the radio, everything is all good and it's good to go. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you find the information useful. So if you do, please do give a like and subscribe. It really help us a lot. And uh, till the next video, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.